Welcome to Interfacing with Dante CobraNet Digital Audio Systems. The purpose of this video is to provide instruction on proper Telebs optical end configuration to ensure the optimal performance and operation of the Dante and CobraNet digital audio systems. The topics covered in this video will be an overview of the use of digital audio systems and a list of the key configurations required to optimize the digital audio system. Dante and CobraNet are two different protocol suites employed in digital audio equipment commonly used for distributing audio over Ethernet packet networks and large venues. They both require time synchronization for proper operation. They also are very heavy users of multicast for almost all messaging and streaming. This allows all the nodes to stay in sync and audio output to be time-wise synchronized. This video defines how to configure the Telebs equipment to optimize the Dante or CobraNet equipment for maximum scalability and reliable operation. To support these protocols in the Telebs optical LAN system, we first start with the VLANs. It is required that audio equipment be segregated on their own VLAN. If both Dante and CobraNet are used, they must use separate VLANs. This minimizes wasted bandwidth sending multicast packets to ONT UNI ports that are not involved in digital audio protocols. This also isolates the digital audio system to its own network, which is a good security practice. Next, each VLAN is represented in a service profile. When provisioning a service profile for Dante and CobraNet, Set the service type to bridged. Set the class of service to constant bitrate or CBR1. The Dante and CobraNet protocols make heavy use of the Precision Time Protocol Packet-Based Time Scheme or PTP. This protocol has tight timing requirements and is necessary to use the CBR class of service to get real-time jitter and delay performance needed. The upstream sustained rate should be 16 meg or higher. This ensures PTP packets are never delayed. For P-bit priority, set a static priority of 7. All end systems are optimized for downstream IP multicast. Within the pond where multicast is sourced, copies must be sent to ONT unis on that pond that are on the Dante or CobraNet VLANs. These optimizations work for Dante due to the fact that Dante uses IP multicast. Therefore, IGMP should be enabled for the Dante VLAN. Also, the IP version 4 IPOE service protocol should be used. For CobraNet systems, multicasting is not performed using IP. As a result, the OLAN IP multicasting optimizations will not be utilized. IGMP should be disabled for CobraNet. The service protocol should be set to transparent since CobraNet has elements that use protocols other than IP version 4. The OLT periodically polls for new ONTs. This leaves a quiet window where no devices other than new ONTs can transmit. This puts a gap in transmission which can jitter the Dante or CobraNet clocks. The OLT must be deployed with ONT Discovery disabled on the Dante and CobraNet enabled pawns. This is done by creating and assigning a pawn profile specific to the pawn ports using Dante or CobraNet. Also, it is recommended that no more than 16 Dante or CobraNet devices be placed on any one pawn. This will ensure that the devices do not exceed the overall pawn bandwidth and maximize the overall scalability of the system. The Dante device should be configured to use unicast delay requests. This will change the delay request delay response of PTP to unicast messages. This will minimize the number of multicast messages replicated on the pawn. This is configured by clicking on a device in the menus, then going to the clocking option group and changing the unicast delay request settings to enabled. 
The Dante devices need to elect a device as a timing source. Placing the timing source above the OLT ensures that the PTP has the minimum jitter and delay and minimizes the replicated multicast within the system. The CobraNet conductor provides the nominal clock source for the network. For best performance, the CobraNet conductor, which is often the system controller, should be placed above the OLT. This ensures minimum jitter and delay under normal operations. This concludes this video. In it, you have learned an overview of using the digital audio system and a list of the key configurations required to optimize the digital audio system.